Okay, welcome back everybody to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play. Just finished a nice successful war once again against the Ottoman Empire, really pushing them back further into Asia. And it looks like uh, the other war that um, he was fighting, they didn't manage to take any land or anything, or, or therefore lose any land, but at least he didn't annex them either. So uh, that's pretty good. We left him in pretty fairly bad shape, I would say, because his manpower was not doing so hot before we declared the war. Yep, it's got basically no manpower, and he has some rebels on his lands, so hopefully the guy's in pretty bad shape, because we know in, in some ways we are certainly in bad shape ourselves. Yes, indeedy. And uh, I'm actually going to chill a little bit. We're going to chill a little bit while we're at peace for a period, because we're fairly poor. Well, it's not that we're fairly poor that we're chilling, is it? It's actually because our war exhaustion is high. Being poor is no excuse to chill. But our war exhaustion needs to come down, and we can't reduce our war exhaustion, apparently, because it, it decreases our absolutism. And absolutism is uh, very important for the late game. We want to get it higher and higher and higher, if possible. Yes, we do. So we're going to be dealing with rebels. And speaking of absolutism... It's coming at a price. It's costing costing us... It's coming at a price. Yes, it is. But... I think... We're going to continue to do some harsh treatment. Harsh treatment is something that I basically never do myself. But now that absolutism is in the game, we're going to be doing uh, plenty. Plenty of harsh treatment. If we have the military points. Too expensive to harsh sheep in the Poloskians. So we're gonna, we'll be swinging back over here. To uh, defend against them. Alrighty. We did intend to lick our wounds a bit, and our desire on Russia is okay, even when we're overextended. So I'm actually going to be consolidating some of our troops here to try to uh, stop the devastating effect on our economy. Once this province is converted, we're going to add it to the trading company. Benin is worth a lot of... Shoot, speaking of Russian liberty desire, we should be okay at the end of the month. And it's because the stack wipe just got stack wiped that our liberty desire is in such bad shape. Yes, sir. We just lost a bunch of troops. Which I intended to kind of get rid of anyway, but now I'm worried about the Russians. Of course, losing battles outside of war like this does not raise your war exhaustion, which is a big concern for me. Guys are going to stop our coring progress, which is also a big concern for me. That was rough, dude. Would have preferred not to lose that. Mismanaged that spot there. So how much uh, rebel action is going on nowadays in Africa? It looks 
there's a stack there. Looks fairly stable. It's another stack here. Got to deal with these rebel factions. I should pull my navy over to the Iberian Peninsula because that's about to be stable, this region. And then uh, our region over here in Anatolia is extremely unstable. So I want to accumulate all of our forces out here. Gotta keep hiring some troops. We've got to appease these Russians big time. They're not being uh, integrated over these, there we go, few months. Okay, quickly check that everything is in the training company, and it is indeed. Nice. Alrighty, so we got plenty of opportunities. I would love to just uh, quickly annex this guy who's been at peace for a long time. He would have some cash, I imagine, like maybe 200 ducats. Plenty of opportunities to do all sorts of different things. Um, but that war exhaustion, though, I would like to quickly hit up these rebels if we can. There's Benin dudes. We can um, delay them with harsh treatment, but at the same time, uh oh, what is this? Devastation in Croatia? I would be lying guys if I said I knew exactly what the deal is with devastation. It sounds pretty bad. <laughs> it doesn't sound exactly like the best thing ever. And I do like admin. Basically, this is expensive, right? Because of the 10% national tax modifier. But it gives us infantry, a combat ability, and cavalry ability, which are both beautiful. But I just don't think we need it. And uh, this gets rid of some devastation and gives us admin. So it seems to me like that's the obvious choice because we're not paying for it. So it's, it's a grim day. It's a grim day when you can't afford to, to take like a massive boon to your military. But we're doing just fine without that. And uh, that's going to sort of uh, dictate my action there. Yeah, I would really love to lower my army maintenance, is what I'm trying to say, guys. But we've got some rebels on the horizon once again, which need to be taken care of. Doesn't seem to have a general on that stack, which is good. Russia's doing better, and uh, hoping as we core off our land that they will do better and better and better and better. We just got colonialism against Great Britain. I think he's in America, isn't he? Shoot, everybody's rushing down America, and we, we might not get there, guys. One, two, three, four. We'd be waiting on our next colony. We might not get there. I feel like France might beat us, but he is at war, it looks like. The other thing is, one of these is to get a 90 absolutism, guys, to get some damn splendor. And I think we would have 90 absolutism if we had 100% religious unity. So that's a weird thing, because as we expand, we'd go down to 89, and then we got religious unity, we'd go back up to 90. I mean, I'm talking about once I change my government type. Do you guys feel me? Seems a little bit weird there. Uh, we'd need some other kind of modifier again on top of that, ideally. That's what we would need. Nice buff to Massachusetts. OK, 
Okay, the coalition has all but disappeared entirely. It's just Morocco and one other dude. <laughs> we can't afford this inflation at this point, period. We can't afford it. Alrighty, how's our war exhaustion looking? Not too bad. So we got some Polish rebels. I can handle that, no big deal. Plenty of rebels in Africa. Rebels in... Jeez. Uh, the Ottoman lands. None in around the uh, Castilian region. I really want that stability from the Pope. Because I don't like sitting at one stability. If we do boost our stability, though, that is uh, absolutism. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Russia just shot up like four liberty to desire. I thought we were improving because we caught up our land. I'm a troopage. So did he take a hit of me? Yeah. Yep, he ticked ahead of me. Okay, in that case, that's going to compel me to tick up myself. There we go. That's better. I know that we're reinforcing up here. I might cancel most of this then, in that case. that should improve and of course we are overextended once again guys oh gosh the lights just flickered in my house my goodness i hope i don't get a power outage because that would spoil this recording uh oh that's making me nervous it just flickered again well might spoil this recording lol <laughs> turns out when you spend like hours recording there uh, there can be issues it's not even storming right now. We typically have really bad weather in uh, my country, in New Zealand. It's pretty standard stuff. And uh, it seems strange to me that uh, my lights are flickering when there's not even like a storm or anything like that. But I'll hope that I just ignore it and we don't get a full-blown power cut or something like that. Which ruins my recording. Not losing that much money while we're at peace, which is really good. Really, really good. Uh, we should be using our diplomats, though, eh? I wonder, can I break this guy's alliance with Poland? Yes. And you? Almost. Why don't we throw relations down here? We might be able to break his alliance with Poland. We now reputation increases because our overextension disappears. And, um... It would be a nice opportunity to just go straight in and, and fully annex Poland uh, whenever we want. Take whatever money he has. Yes, indeedy. That's a big stack of Ottomans. But if we consolidate everything, we should make short work of them. And I can take up for negative 10%. Uh, I might do it. <laughs> You know, guys, if we're going for this, our power projection is fairly good. I can insult Ming. This might be a good time to just really be at peace for, for some time. Because our next 800 admin is not going to be spent on coring land. It's going to be spent on this. And it should be economical to do it that way. Uh... Yeah. I feel like perhaps being at peace is the way to go here. I'm really hoping that if, once we, you know, the overextension is causing our unrest to be worse. But I'm hoping that uh, once we uh, get rid of most of this overextension...
and most of these initial see like this rebel faction will disappear if it has if it spawned already perhaps it will spawn already hoping to get rid of most of these um dude i really aha uh -huh. unrest advisor yes sir all righty that will help us out I was about to say, I really don't want to spend my admin on uh, improving my stability, even though it will give me absolutism. I would if it was even lower than this, but... Yeah, so I would love to turn my army maintenance down once we deal with the rebels. That's what I'm trying to say. Liberty Desire looks good at the moment from Russia. Let's consolidate that. Good stuff. Economy is looking better and better at the moment. So this is Africa, Hungarian noble rebels, Neapolitan. As the war exhaustion decreases as well, obviously that helps out our economy. Trade advisor should actually give us some money, in theory. And we're just about to core up our land, so we'll see where we're at. Getting a lot of money from war reparations, guys, remember, if we're doing uh, well, like making income here, let's not let it go to our head. I love the fact that we are making income, it's not a bad thing, but a tremendous amount of that is war reparations, which means it could taper off and disappear at any point. Okay, so let's squash these Bulgarians by sitting on there. Neapolitans are almost happy as well, I'm going to go try to sit on those to prevent them from spawning. Uh, yeah, so... Feels good, man, to actually be at peace for a little bit, eh, guys? Feels good for me. This has been rough these last few years. We're actually making some money. That's really nice. If I could lower my army maintenance, I'd be making some legit money. After taking up, our Liberty Desire situation looks much better. Which province is pissed off? I don't get it. You. It's you. Alrighty. Whew, uh, you guys probably don't find this so interesting, and uh, I apologize for that. But I'll tell you what, after all of these episodes where we're making uh, just bleeding out income, uh, this feels pretty bloody good, actually, quite frankly. Might be able to prevent this rebel stack from spawning if we just stand in there. I uh, speak of the devil. That's easy to take that out um i like i said i was going to state this up guys if we're going to be at peace but i changed my mind saving our admin for this core reduction cost that 25 percent core reduction cost is a legit boon that's really going to help us out more than the small amount of absolutism that we will get even though trust me i'm not undervaluing the absolutism i want it and I kind of uh, regret the fact that it's difficult to acquire. Mali's catching up in military tech, dude. That's something I really wanted to avoid. Ah, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Alrighty. Look at that. We're pretty stable, eh? That feels good. So if we're at peace here, let's insult the Mings. Get some power projection back up. Yeah, France is going to beat us, I think, guys. God dang it. One, two, he lost one, actually. Three. Four. Uh, as much as it pains me, guys, I think it's going to be worth it here to recall. And then throw down another one. We're all Catholics. So that's going to cost us a bit of money. We're going for three colonies. But we're basically waiting on this colony to finish. If that colony finishes before theirs. 
uh, we've got the it's it's they're gonna be a little bit less uh, they're gonna hesitate because it's gonna piss off the Pope a lot for them to make colonies in those provinces. Um, yep. How are we doing in military? We're pretty far ahead, I would say. Let's do some more harsh treatment just for the just for the boon that it gives us. The absolutism. And uh, making some profit feels real, real good, man. There's no no rebels anytime soon. Let's make some real money. Turn our army maintenance down. Oh, wow. Look at that. 40 ducats a month. So I will pay off any loan that we can when they come about to get rid of the interest. And, um, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be uh, looking for to go back to war. But the way I look at it is let's finish this core reduction cost, right? Which is about 500 admin away, getting 10 admin a month. So um, we, we should be able to just chill at the spot and uh, make some money. Oh my goodness. Now, one thing we've got to consider is keeping our army maintenance down like this. It does potentially provoke a war. People are more likely to declare on us. Uh, so we might be uh, have to deal with this Protestant League war. But honestly... <sighs> oh, god damn it! That's actually a hard choice. I'm going to lose my stability. That's a hard choice right there. Um, I could boost my stability very freely for one absolutism. Which I'm going to do. Just because the absolutism is good. Ugh, that makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bad. But we're making money. Let's not change that. Let's get rid of this damn stuff so we can be somewhat prosperous. The thing is, guys, I'm really kind of prioritizing my economy a bit because manufacturers is about to spawn. And it's going to be really expensive to embrace. So let's get some damn money. I'm sick of being really far behind. And uh, this is a good opportunity to uh, to make some mun months while we can, while our power projection is up. You know, we could have done this at any stage, but it's a good excuse here while we're trying to reach this. And uh, our power projection is up. Yep. integrating russia slowly dude reaching 30 percent almost we're almost a third of the way there and uh we're about to yeah i'm gonna boost my stability up to two just for the the actual benefits of being at a higher stability and as we get ahead pay off our loans the the interest will be paid off, which is really good. Jeez. Land maintenance modifier is not so good, but we've turned our army uh, maintenance down, so that's alrighty. Oh, my light just blew. Lol. I think my light was dying, guys. That's what it is. So I'm in the dark now, but that's okay. Because I'm a real man. <sighs> Thank. Thank. Goodness. Guys, we had some, uh, some hard life. We had some hard life, some real hard life throughout these last few years. This last 100 years actually has been quite grim for the Hungarian Empire. But Catholicism is now the official faith. And after we add another Catholic elector, let me have a look here. Why don't we add Lorraine? And after we get the modified Catholic Empire, Imperial Authority to... 25% uh, more. Oh, geez. We're not getting votes very well, though, surprisingly. 
so Alsace is voting for him. Okay, so we got to we got to manage this a bit. We are being elected right now. Plenty of diplomats to be freed up, so we are being elected. We got to sort this out a little bit. Alrighty, guys. So we're not even losing very much here, and um, we can now enforce religious unity. However. We're going to do some rearranging of some stuff. So really exciting stuff, guys. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And uh, really exciting stuff for the future here. So the, the threat of the Protestant League is now over. So I'm going to free up my Diplo slot from Sweden. And that's going to free up our truce. And that means down the line, uh, when we PU him, it's not going to be a truce break. It's just going to be a nice, easy, chill PU over him. But I'm going to free up my slot here. And I'm going to free up my slot from Bohemia, which is uh, not getting a vote. Which gives us two slots available. And uh, those slots are going to go on the largest Protestant nations because we're actually looking for the them to actually pass these here. Alrighty, so we can see that we're really close to um, having this. And I know what the solutions are. The solutions are, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fully annex Poland so that I can release them as well. I'm going to add provinces to the empire just like this and then return core to release a Catholic member of the empire like Krakow. We're going to go around everywhere doing that um, on our, in particular, on our uh, non-stated territories. And uh, when we generate Catholic votes, that's going to mean that we can pass these very easily. And uh, yeah, we're gearing up towards the revoke, guys. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, we should have 100 plus. So we're about to create peace within the Empire. And uh, this is all going down next episode. We finally made it, guys. I predict... Hopefully, if I'm not mistaken, within the next 10 or 20 years, we're going to have Revoked. And a really exciting place to actually end this episode. And I'm really looking forward to it. Oh my goodness. We're making money. And uh, this period of peace is somewhat productive. Let's go ahead and add a ton of land to the Empire. And uh, this next one gives us some money, which is very good. We're in need of that. Disallowing wars. I'm pretty sure we can reach that. And then uh, that means there's always going to be a constant state of peace. So we're going to do a lot of the Empire next uh, next episode. I'm going to try and make free cities to get those uh, boons as well. And that's all going to be going down next episode. Really looking forward to it, guys. My hype level is back up since it was like earlier in the series to really high. Finally, it can be done. Let me just say one thing right here, guys. Let me just say one thing before I end the episode. I'm France has done us dirty this game. Like, I love Frenchmen in real life, don't get me wrong, but France has done us dirty, this AI, and I am not going to be satisfied until every damn... Well, I'm going to send in Gabor. Where is he? Gabor is going to go into France. He's going to run around Paris, and he's going to... On all of... The, all Every single cafe, every single blackboard, every single breakfast menu and dessert menu, he's going to rub out. He's going to erase... French crepes, your damn crepes, and it shall be replaced with Hungarian palachinta. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to teach these damn French bastards a thing or two about cuisine in the upcoming episodes. I'm looking forward to it, and we will use the mighty German Empire against them to make our life a breeze. But when we do revoke, our economy is going to go through the roof. I love it. Really enjoying this, guys. I hope you are too. And uh, sorry for the cliffhanger, a lot of episode activity going down next next episode. A lot of episode activity, a lot of Holy Roman Empire activity. I'll see you then.